So on vehicles where you think you might have an injector that might be failing, especially on direct injection vehicles, those systems can be a little uh, tricky to work on just because of the high pressure used in the system. Uh, Ford actually has a built-in relative flow test for their fuel injectors on their direct injection vehicles and Snap-on added that to the tool in 16.2 software. So let's walk through that process right now. Okay, everything's hooked up so we'll just go in the scanner here and pick my Ford. Do an auto ID. There it is. And OK. And that's under the engine system. And that's a functional test. And that's called the relative injector flow test. So it's going to give you a whole bunch of instructions because we want to make sure we're safe with these systems. Like I said, it's high pressure. Uh, it could be dangerous to work with, so you want to make sure there aren't any leaks, etc. So prior to running this test, confirm low pressure fuel system integrity, which includes a checkup for high pressure fuel system gross leaks. The powertrain self-test should have previously been run to detect DTCs associated with the low pressure and high pressure fuel systems, fuel injector, fuel rail pressure sensor, fuel injector, etc. Warning, follow recommended powertrain control and emissions diagnostics and workshop manual fuel system pressure release procedures prior to service. On some vehicle applications, prompts will be given to cycle the ignition on and off in order to properly prepare the vehicle for this test. So there's everything that we need to make sure we've already done, which we have. So we'll hit continue. It's going to have a cycle the ignition. Okay, ignition's been cycled through. Uh, Pre-crank instructions, here's everything else we need to do. So here's what's going to walk us through the sequence. So it's going to be a 5 second countdown to automatic engine cranking screen, a 10 second automatic engine crank countdown to relative injector flow results screen. During this time the fuel injectors are tested as follows. It's going to disable the spark for us, so that's good so the engine won't start automatically. Uh, the high pressure pump builds fuel rail pressure to a specified target with the fuel volume regulator commanded on and the engine cranking to rotate the camshaft. A fuel injector is pulsed for a specified number of times and duration. The pressure build and pulse fuel injector sequence is repeated until all the fuel injectors are tested. So it's going to cycle through them in a sequence and test them individually. The engine automatically starts once the test is completed and the results are calculated and display as flow times in milliseconds. Selecting retest will start the test over and there's a stop test button available on the 5 and 10 second countdown screens. Uh, warning, this test will automatically crank the engine, so you want to make sure everybody's clear of the engine before you start. You want to make sure you also apply the parking brake. And then it is going to give us all of the different things we need to do. Ignition must be key on, engine off, battery is sufficient charge, and we're in park. So all those conditions are met, so I'll hit continue. And it's going to count down until our engine cranks. Okay, and then we can press the ignition off to stop the engine and press continue to see the results. All right, so it looks like I have number one is at 137, 139, and 140 on two of them. Uh, so the flow range normal is 140 milliseconds plus or minus 15 milliseconds. Looks like all the injectors are flowing properly and they're all normal. So if there was anything out of that spec, you'd know one injector was giving you that issue.